Hey folks, so I went to cottage country today and uh, the local or area lake uh, cottage area was having resort-wide garage sales. Unfortunately, there was rain. Uh, it was spitting a bit, so I think some people didn't set up, so there wasn't anywhere near the number of vendors there usually is, or setups there usually is. But I still did all right. Uh, picked up this mounted fish here, uh, pickerel, I assume. Pretty big one, actually, for the size of it, considering uh, that's my hand there. So, yeah, um, nasty friggin' spines on this thing and uh, teeth on the friggin' thing. That's, I'm not a big fishing fan because of uh, that. I remember getting uh, cut up from these freaking things anyway uh let's see what else uh that came out of the free bin actually that fish um and the free bin also i got this mid-century modern wire magazine rack and got for a dollar these cookie and sandwich cutters these christmas ones unused by the looks of them and then i got a bag of Souvenir spoons, but there was one sterling one in there that I noticed. I haven't looked through them to see if there's any others, but uh, there was one sterling one. So for a dollar for that bag, I'm making some money, just a little bit. Um, a little jack for a dollar, uh, a couple candlesticks for a dollar a piece. Unfortunately, I didn't really notice. I just grabbed them, and uh, this one's damaged, been crushed, so. That one might just go to scrap, actually, scrap brass. But uh, the Victorian candlesticks, you can tell by the little push-up thing here and the general patina on the underside, but uh, and just by the general style. And then I also got a dribble glass, is what this is. Old school dribble glass. You can see the little hole cut in the uh, areas here that have been cut out. So it would dribble down your chin when you drank out of it, if you didn't know it was there. And a couple flower sisters for a couple bucks a piece. Uh, that dribble glass was a whole quarter, by the way. And also got some toys, uh, which I'll show you at the end video, which we're nearing soon. But I will show you a couple stools I picked up as well. Got these as well. Complete with Halloween cobwebs as well. What got those for three dollars and five dollars respectively? So yeah, that was cool. And I'll show you the toys next. So here's some toys, uh, 80s stuff this time. Um, the lady had the stuff in the house for me and uh, showed me the stuff. So I ended up buying it. Uh, mint packaged Lord Dread, and then there was three, four, sorry, four, um, Peter Venkman toys, so Ghostbusters, so 1986, I believe, is when they're from, uh, she bought them when, back in the 80s for a dollar a piece, so she made some money on them, bit of an investment there, uh, but they are kind of grungy and dirty. I'm going to have to give them a good clean. And then, last but not least, as I say, i uh, got some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figures. So, gave, I think, 35 for the lot of stuff. I don't know what these ones are worth. Oh, we got Jake figures. He's going to get a toy here. But... <laughs> Um, so here's the figures, we've got a lot of, they're all Ghostbusters figures, I assume, so, or not Ghostbusters, so some Ghostbusters figures, we got a couple there, got another Peter Venkman, so some of these will be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, we got an Ewok, so yeah, I'm sure I'll make money, I'll be okay, um, not sure what kind of money some of these get. Probably ten, fifteen dollars a figure, maybe, and probably a long haul at that. But who knows? 
anyway that's what i got folks thanks for watching please be sure to like and subscribe and let me know what your favorites were in the comments below thanks for watching guys take care and uh, check out our other videos on antiquing picking thrifting scrapping etc take care folks